Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, everything went about as well with our graduation as you would expect it did. Horribly, horribly wrong. Mysterious magicians have attacked the Academy in search of the Waterdavian creatures that apparently are going to be used to make a cure for the Wailing Death. On the way, we found that all the instructors had been killed, and so had Parvel's brother Bim. Fortunately, Pavel survived and is now in our party. Unfortunately, Pavel survived and is now in our party. I wonder, actually, uh, if somebody's played through the game as Pavel, just made a character that looks exactly like Pavel, statted up exactly like Pavel, and you just play him as if he is Pavel, or better yet, as if he's Bim. It's like, they killed my brother, Bim, and you're like, no, actually, brother, I'm right here. I was just pretending to be dead. When we last left off, we got to Geldar, who has a sort of dejected look about him, hunched over in defeat. Many fierce enemies await you beyond this door. You will need to draw upon all you have learned here at the Academy to survive. Fair enough. You've gained much experience, Sarkan, but to put that experience to use, I must first teach you how to level up. I've given you enough experience to level up. Imagine if you'd come through here at, like, level 19, and I could have made you just level 20 instantly. Leveling up is how you gain access... To... Leveling up is how you gain access to greater hit points, skills, feats, and spells. We don't need him to teach us how to level up, however, because we already know. As you wish. You may pass through the south door only after you've leveled up. Let us, uh, put that to the test. Can we go through this door without leveling up? Nope. Can't do that. Hmm, perhaps it will open like- Pavel's just like, nope, can't get through that door, it's got a handle and a lock. Can't get through. Let's level up as a druid. Let us just improve all of the skills I'm leveling in. Concentration, animal empathy, persuade, and spellcraft. And we get to change our companion. We could actually change the companion to something else, but we shall stick with Crumpet, the uh, brown bear. And that's it. And Crumpet, in fact, is unsummoned. And we have to re-summon Crumpet as a more powerful bear. I do think we also, in fact, gain an additional... Oh, yep, we gain an additional... What does that do? Oh, yeah, it, um... It improves the caster's animal companion. We might actually want to learn that. And we also... I'm probably never going to remember to cast um, Summon Monster 1, or Summon Animal 1. So instead, I'm going to put Resistance here instead. Can we rest here? No, we cannot. So I suppose we're just going to have to murder things until we can do that. And we're being attacked by weak goblins. I'm not sure that man was right in saying this would be dangerous. But there you go. Apparently this is dangerous. What if we can rest now? Another potion. Oh, and more remains. All neatly put in a bag. Yes, we can rest now. Pavel will gain hit points by resting too, so that's always good. Pavel has 12 hit points. Because he's a fighter, he has a d10 hit die as opposed to my d8. Is there anything interesting in here? There are boxes. We can break these boxes. Or we'll open them, alternatively. Another potion. More gold. Nothing really interesting. Lots of things in here, though. A crate. That was a crate crate! <laughs> no, no it wasn't. A potion of bull strength. And a potion of bless. Yeah, Neverwinter Nights has always thrown a lot of potions at you. Always thrown a lot of potions. Without further ado, let's keep going. I don't think you can usually get more than one companion in uh, Neverwinter Nights, so... You'll basically be stuck with uh, an animal companion and one companion. Hello, weak skeletons. They've actually killed the goblins. Your or, or was it the uh, instructor that... Uh, oh, we can actually yeah. look at that corpse. That corpse Let's is counted as... Uh, that corpse is actually counted as uh, something lootable. What have you got? Is that a dagger? 
Well, I'll take it. A breastplate. That's even better armor than what I'm currently wearing. We are indeed getting upgrades. Very undruidic upgrades. In this game, they're not really so bothered about the um, upgrades being decent for um, the druidic code. They're only really concerned with the weapons. So I think I will be getting uh, heavy armor proficiency on um, Sarken so that we can use uh, plate mail. Be very druidic that way, of course. Hello. You are a goblin. I'm now wearing a breastplate. My armor class is now 18. Pretty confident we goblins are not going to be killing me anytime soon. No. Pretty sure I'm not going to die to goblins. Now, what is up here? A room? A room. Full of goblins. Well, we can kill them. Pretty easily, actually. There is going to be a challenge at the end of this. It's not going to be the easiest challenge in the world. The wizard hasn't actually thrown any spells at us yet. Wizards at low levels are not the most dangerous things in the world. They get very dangerous later, as if anyone that's watched the other Neverwinter Nights um, Let's Plays will know. They can get very dangerous. But then, so can fighters. Oh, an alchemist's apparatus. I could actually make a... Uh... Why would you provoke attacks of opportunity, skeletons? Probably because they're mindless. They are mindless, and yet they're able to put their dukes up and enter into the uh, fisticuffs pose. Well, these are quite good potions. Was there anything interesting in that? Oh, it was just a book that I've already looted. We will get our opportunity to uh, sell things later. Now, I don't remember if this room leads off to the central area. Yeah, there is a kind of looped over central area that's approaching. It's quite important. However, we're not going in there just yet. Not yet. We will be. Just not yet. There is, in fact, the uh, stables. The stables are where you actually get to the end of this little area. And there is a, I think, a cinematic at the end of this. Though, of course, you won't be able to record, so... <laughs> Hello, mysterious mage. With there he is. He's not turning away this time. Oh, ow. That actually hurt. Fortunately, he's engaging me in melee combat now, which is a huge mistake. I nearly died. Let's see though. what you've got. One hit point. Might heal myself. Yeah, that hurt. Also, he dropped the Shield of Dawn. I'm not sure that's usually the item he drops, but the Shield of Dawn is what he dropped. Armor class versus undead plus two. And, uh, it emits light. Is it better than what I'm currently using, though? That's the question. Uh, not really. It does emit light, though. But it's not better than what I'm currently using. Which is a shame. Ah, oh, well. What can you do? Gain loot, and more loot, and more loot. And that, I do believe, is actually the dangerous part of this over. There is, in fact, no more danger. We have cleared out all of the danger. And the mysterious mage has been killed. We might even find out who the mysterious mage is at some point. I doubt it somehow. I really doubt it. I should probably save that as a uh, second four. Let us move on into the stable, shall we? I'm sure nothing terrible is happening here. Oh, wait. Kill the Dryad! No! I must escape! Let's have a look quickly at what we're dealing with here before we get out of here. There is a uh, Venthic Moss, who is a character. Um, there is also a uh, Destha 
Indelane. There is also a Dryad. Hmm. So a Tree Sprite. A Yanti. Okay. She looks determined not to be recaptured. She looks terrified. You've got an Intellect Devourer here. Bred by Mind Flayers in the deepest Underdark, these four-legged brains stalk intelligent prey, cocking their bodies after devouring their brain. Hmm. Yeah. And you've got a Goblin Elite. Goblin Elite's actually challenging. Probably more dangerous than anything we've fought so far. So we basically have to deal with that. There is nothing else here, unless there is a fourth thing that I've missed. Let's kill the uh, Goblin Elite. They freed the Yonti! They have! My bones are broken! And escape she did. Uh, Fenthic Moss here is described as a goose concerned for those suffering, obviously willing to do anything if it would help the situation. His face looks weary but hopeful. And, uh, Desther here. Shifts uncomfortably, obviously displeased with those around him. He looks preoccupied and strained, as though wanting more control over the situation than he has. Yeah, I imagine there's not much control over this situation at all. <laughs> Just ignoring that goblin, I see. There's one gold coin here. And a grand total of nothing else in particular. And you both equip crossbows for some reason. Let's talk to Fenthic, shall we? We came too late. The creatures are lost. The academy students slain. No, this cannot be. How could this happen? Well, that's what happens when you turn up late, Fenthic. If you turned up on time, you could claim that you did everything you could and it still failed. All is lost, Fenthic. The nymph has fled. The Yonti and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city. And where was Arabeth during all this? I have come from Lady Arabeth. She sent me to protect the creatures. You are a you are the student she sent. Did Arabeth really think uh, a whelp as this could defend the Water Davian creatures? She should have come herself. Is she really so blind, Fenthic? Oh well, I think Desther does not like Arabeth. Desther, I will have you speak no more ill of Lady Arabeth. She did what she thought was best. Bah! I know the feelings you and Lady Arabeth have for each other, but it does nothing to change the facts. She was wrong to bring the creatures here. I will leave you and your lady love to clean up this mess, Fenthic. I must go make arrangements to recover the cure Arabeth has so carelessly lost. Lovely. I need to speak to you. Oh, um, what is it, Bim? My name's actually Pavel, remember? Um, yes, sure. The bear is just going, that's Fenthic, eh? I'm a bear. I have no idea about any of this. I owe you my life, Sir Ken. Without you, I wouldn't have made it out of here. I... I could have died just like my brother. I've got over that pretty quickly, actually. You've got what it takes to be a great hero, Sir Ken. Maybe even a legend. But this life isn't for me. I know that now. You have to stick... You just have to stick with it, Pavel. All I could think about in there was how afraid I was of dying. You don't think I was thinking that? I want you to curl up in a corner and just close my eyes to everything. Those aren't but thoughts of a hero. Thank you once more for saving me. I know you'll be a great hero someday, but I don't want to risk my neck for fame and fortune. I'm no hero. I just want a nice, quiet life. I doubt our paths will cross again anytime soon. Goodbye, and good luck. Hey, we saved him. I think you got experience for that, actually. <laughs> No, you... I'm not sure you do. By the way, I'm going to grab these remains. There is a torch! Hello, Fenthic. We shall talk to you, just in case, uh... This ends the dialogue options. You must forgive, Dester. The strain of the Wailing Death weighs heavily on the Helmites. Ah! He's a worshipper of Helm! That would explain a few things. As their leader, Dester has worked long and hard to help ease the suffering of Neverwinter. And this most recent setback has upset him greatly. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion of the Lady Arabeth. You must be the student Arabeth told me about. Um, yes, I am Sarkin. Dester and I arrived with reinforcements shortly after the attack began. 
We found Arabeth in the South Assembly Chamber, hard-pressed by dozens of the mysterious assailments. I mean, they could cast Magic Missile! They must have been at least level 3! I mean, for a paladin of her level, it maybe took like a free action to kill them! We managed to drive off the attackers, and Arabeth told us she had sent one of the students on ahead to defend the Water Davian creatures. While Arabeth tended to the wounded, one of the mages who had arrived with the reinforcements teleported Dester and me to this room. Alas, we arrived to find the cages upturned, the creatures fleeing. Do you know who attacked the academy? We have no clues as to who planned the attack, and I doubt any prisoners we take will know anything about who is truly behind this. A few straggling goblins are all that remain of our attackers, but I fear we have lost this battle. The Water Davian creatures are gone. Well, that tends to be the criterion of this battle. Why did you just scratch your back with that scimitar? I do that all the time. That'll really damage your breastplate. Actually, this is a breastplate, and yet it seems mostly made of scale plate. That is curious. In any case, discovering their identity is secondary. Our first priority must be to recapture the water Davian creatures that we ha may have to extract, so that we may extract a cure for the Wailing Death. Hmm. I will help you in this task, Fenthic. From all accounts, you are a capable man, Sarkan, even if you are only level two. Arabeth told me the instructors of the Academy spoke very highly of you. I do not know what role you are to play in all this, Sarkan. That is for late my Lady Arabeth to decide. You must meet her at the Halls of Justice in the coming week. Lady Arabeth will have more instruction for you then. Hopefully we'll have a better understanding of what we're up against. We must all do our part, Sarkan. I wish to ask you some questions. Time is of the essence, Sarkan. Although I suppose I can answer a few quick questions. Yes, a few quick questions like those. None of those are quick, Sarkan. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I am a servant of Tyr, nothing more and nothing less. I serve Neverwinter as, as is my duty, and my heart weeps as the city suffers. When Lord Nasher appointed Arabeth to find a cure for the plague, I vowed to stay at my lady's side throughout the ordeal. We are inseparable. So you and Arabeth are lovers. Arabeth and I are of one heart, it is true. Is this surprising? We are both disciples of Tyr. We are both servants of Neverwinter. We draw our strength from each other during these difficult times. In duty, in our faith, and in our love, we will find a way to beat the Wailing Death. I hope that doesn't end up biting me later, in some terrible way. But this is a role-playing game, so it's quite likely. Tell me about Arabeth. Arabeth is the shining light who must guide our way. She is the Paladin of Tyr. A, a Paladin of Tyr, not the only one, that is. And only her courage and devotion to Neverwinter surpass her grace and beauty. I may be biased, though, because me and Arabeth are lovers. When Lord Nasher appointed Arabeth to find a cure, I vowed to stay by her side. I've already stated that, though. Tell me about Dester. Dester is a good man, though the Wailing Death weighs heavily on him. He does not serve Tyr as my Lady Arabeth or I do, but his devotion to Helm is most admirable. Dester and his Helmites have been tireless in their efforts to offer what comfort they can to those afflicted by the plague. I only wish Arabeth and Dester could set aside their personal differences. No matter what god they serve, we must all work together in these troubled times. Indeed. You must all work together to stop everyone dying. After all, you won't have a congregation if the whole of Neverwinter is dead. Tell me more about these Water Davian creatures. Arabeth is the only one who has the authority to speak of such things freely. You will ha You did that again with your back. I'm sorry. You'll have to talk to her at the Halls of Justice. And that is where we shall leave it. For when we come back, folks, we shall indeed meet them at the Halls of Justice. In a week. Within the week. Yeah, it's not like the Wailing Death's going to get worse in that week, Sarkin. It can wait. So I'll catch you next time. And I'll see you then. Later. So where do you think the Water Davian creatures have gone? I'm just a bear, remember? I've no idea. He is just a bear. He does have no idea. You can understand me. What? Urgh. This is going to be a complicated playthrough, isn't it? Probably. Later.